CBS 17 is your local election headquarters. A major court case is already impacting next year's election here in North Carolina and could even influence who wins some races next year. Groups have sued Republicans over the new districts they drew for Congress and the General Assembly. Our Capitol reporter Michael Hyland live in Raleigh tonight. Michael, new polling is out showing what voters are thinking about this. Right, the Supreme Court already delayed next year's primary amid the legal battle over this. But with the long history of gerrymandering cases in our state, most voters think there's a problem here in North Carolina. The battle over your ballot hinges on what happens in court the next few weeks. North Carolinians are just fed up with gerrymandering, the power grabs, the endless lawsuits that result from that from both of them. The Supreme Court moved the primary election to May to give more time for lawsuits over the new electoral district maps Republicans drew to get resolved. They're accused of illegally gerrymandering the districts to get more Republicans elected to Congress and the General Assembly. The left-leaning group Progress NC recently commissioned a poll that found nearly half of voters support delaying the primary, while a third opposed. But there was more agreement on gerrymandering being a problem, with more than 70 percent Son of voters calling it very serious or somewhat serious. Despite the electorate being so polarized, we are seeing broad agreement on these issues surrounding gerrymandering in the poll. Dr. Michael Bitzer at Catawba College says there's not a clear definition of what a fair map is, but you can spot an outlier. He also pointed to Guilford County being split into three congressional districts. Some would argue that what the Republicans did with Guilford was basically crack Democratic votes. Republican Senator Ralph Hayes dismissed the criticism of the maps. They're pouring all the money into these lawsuits and trying to bake in results to create maps that elect more Democrats. I think they're completely worried about uh, the wave that is hitting right now. The trial over the new maps will happen in early January. The Supreme Court accelerated the timeline, wanting to get to a resolution as early as possible. In the past, cases dealing with this issue have gone on for years. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News. Michael, thank you. And remember, whether it's the voting maps or updates on when next year's primaries will be, stick with us here on TV and through the news app. CBS 17, we are your local election headquarters.